All right, this is a continuation of the blue posts. So, this one's about cross-faction guilds. This one shouldn't be too long, this is a short one. And I got some opinions on it. Play with more friends with cross-faction guilds. No longer will you have to wish your horde heart no longer will you have to wish your Horde Heart could find a home with an Amazing Alliance Guild you just cleared a random raid with. Nor do you have to don a cheery Alliance front after wishing a fond farewell to some fa fantastic Horde heroes after a successful heroic. We're blurring the faction lines for guild. They have to mean raid because of something we're going to talk about later. We're blurring the faction lines for guilds and allowing players to create and join same realm guilds with their friends from the opposite faction when the Emrose of Nuptharian update arrives on May 2nd. Some things to remember with cross-faction guilds. Guild affiliation with the Alliance or Horde will depend on the faction of the guild leader, and guild achievements and vendors will still reflect the guild's primary faction. Um, guild members of the option, opposite faction will benefit from unlocked shared perks, but cannot contribute to specific achievements. As an example, Alliance members of a Horde Guild could not contribute progress towards an Alliance Slayer, Guild Achievement, Guild Repairs, and Social Conveniences like Share Chat will be available to the opposite faction Guild members. Players must be Battle.net friends or part of the same Battle.net community to invite or receive an invitation to an opposite faction Guild on the same realm. Opposite faction Guildmates can only play communally inside instances. They'll still be considered unfriendly to each other or hostile in war mode in the outdoor worlds. We look forward to continuing adventures through the Dragon Isles whenever the Nuptharians go live on May 2nd. Okay, so let's talk about this. <clears throat> Is it a good step? Is this going to help uh, some players I know? Yes. It's going to allow me to move some Horde tunes into the guild that my alliance is currently in. It's going to help some people who are already in guilds bring alts over. That's all this is helping. Because let's talk about this. One, you have to become friends with the person to then be able to invite them. Alright? Uh, which isn't always how you want to recruit. Like, say a guild wants to actually recruit. This isn't going to help them. Uh, guild repairs, social convenience, sale trap, that's great, I love that, that's good. As long as they don't have issue speaking in a different language. But I assume that that doesn't work in guild chat. Guild members of the op- or, or won't matter in guild chat. Guild members of the opposite faction will benefit from unlocked shared perks, but cannot attribute to the specific achievements. So that kind of makes sense, but you know what's funny about this? What if you're in mercenary mode? Could you contribute? And guild affiliation will be linked to the guild leader. Um, I don't know why it's locked. So I guess the guild vendor, if you were a horde in alliance guild and you went to the guild vendor in Ogremar, they'd just be like, we don't talk to you. We don't talk to you. That's weird. That's very weird. Um, I get that it's linked to the guild leader, but this part confuses me. Uh, and then for guild achievements, that makes sense for the Alliance Slayer or whatever, yeah. What a lot of people have a problem with, and I kind of agree with, um, one, if they're in a group with you, they're still unfriendly out in the outdoor world. I get them, I get it in war mode. I get in war mode, okay? They should be unfriendly to you or hostile to you in war mode. But why can't you heal someone in your group? Is it a technical limitation or what is it? That's, that's gonna, that's so annoying when you're a healer and you can't heal someone because there's something weird going on with them, and you're like, come on. 
Opposite faction guildmates can only play communally inside instances. Here's the thing. But you can't queue. You can't queue together still. And I kind of get that because they still want it to be opt-in, right? We still have uh, groups in the group finder that can click on the little I want to be racist button. Which is their right, apparently. Uh, it doesn't help you get group. It doesn't help you get members. So it's counterintuitive. It doesn't help you at all. Not only is it a little fucked up, but you can't queue for time walking. You can't queue for any of this. And I wonder if it's just because of the few dungeons that have, have weird racial locks or something. Like, what is the problem? If it's something on the back end, they need to say, hey, 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 hey. There's something on the back end that we got to sort out before we have instance content, okay? We just don't want it to be bugged out the ass and fuck people's characters. I would understand that. I get that they're trying to slow roll this, but... <clears throat> the guilds is a step forward, okay? I'm glad we're getting this. I'm glad we're getting something, okay? I am happy we are getting something. But you can now have a guildie where you're like, all right, let's queue up. Oh, we can't queue up for time walking. We can't queue up for random heroics. We can only do the guild raid and M plus, which to be fair is what most skills do raid and M plus. You don't see them queue for random stuff, but it does kind of stuck if you're leveling knots. Oh, we can't do time walking together. Oh, we can't do this together. And at the end of the day, what's the issue? Like, what is the hiccup? Is it because some random person in the group, right? Imagine this. There's just a really angry blood elf that just hates all the Alliance. Or, you know what? Let's do a blood elf that hates Worgen, all right? A blood elf that just looks at a Worgen and you'll be like, you freaking dog. You, you queue, you're an orc, you queue with your worgen buddy, and you get into this blood elf's group. And he's like, ugh, ugh, I'm disgusted. Get this dog out of here. And then they try to void, vote out the worgen. No one would click that vote, that's ridiculous. And then what does he do? You want to know what he's going to do? He either leaves the group, or he just talks at the whole group. So, normal, normal random groups, right? The onus should be on him. If he's going to be that... If he's going to be that toxic... That's on them. That's on them. You can't fix that. Blizzard shouldn't accommodate that dude. No one should accommodate that dude. That dude going to act like that? He needs to go chill out. Alright? He needs to get out of here. Go play solo. So, they shouldn't be catering to those people. Alright? And what what is that person going to do? Blizzard, are you really afraid from the ticket they open? Blizzard. How dare you allow a worgen? I didn't sign up for this. you got to keep the war in Warcraft. This is ridiculous. I don't want to be forced to heal a worgen. <clears throat> who cares? Bro, who cares? Alright? All right, that's been my rant. Uh, I'm I'm excited for cross faction guilds. This is gonna help me personally. I know people. This is gonna help. This is gonna alleviate some stuff. It's gonna allow my alliance guild to recruit some of my hordies that just want to stay horde. That's fine, and it's gonna get them in the chat, the guild chat, to do stuff that we do with normal guild M plus and rates. I just wish that we'd get the instance content sooner. A lot of people want the instance content sooner. If there's a technical issue, Blizzard just come out and say, yo, uh, our spaghetti code, we're still working on it. And a lot of people will be like, all right, makes sense. All right, I'm glad you're working on it. But yeah, that's been my opinion on uh, cross-faction guilds coming May 2nd in 10.2. Not 10.2, 10.1. Oh my god. I'm going too far. Anyways, 
10.1 cross faction guilds. Maybe 10.2 instance? Maybe 10.15? Who knows? Hopefully soon. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.